A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Hmm. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope? Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? You've revealed the existence of Krogan, who are immune to the genophage, Commander. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? A part of me admires the Solarian capacity for considering all outcomes. And the other part? One wonders how many allies you'll have left when this war is over. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me Fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't. When have they ever shown mercy? See what I'm talking about? What did you hear about Vermeer? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Are the Salarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. But now, this business with the Krogan... You may have drawn us into it. It's going to happen sooner or later. We'll see. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Salarians uplifted the Krogan. You wanted them violent. And then we neutered them when we realized our mistake. The same mistake you're making all over again. One hopes with Erdnot Rex as the Krogan leader, their tendency for violence can be controlled. Hope is hardly a winning strategy. This term over here, uplifting, um, does not mean they made the Krogan super fertile. Uh, because the neuter does mean that they made the Krogan super infertile. So the two things aren't co as correlated as he thinks. He might want them to come across. He, he didn't, he's not saying, oh no, the Krogans are very, they're, they're very numerous because we made them super fertile. But then we made them not super fertile. That would complicate things a lot in, in regards to this genocide because it, it would still be genocide. But uh, it, it would complicate it because, the, I mean, he would have a point. As it stands, he does not have a point. The uplifting, I think, is just, you know, giving them technology and, and you know, in, in putting their society a little bit better for them to learn things and all that, so. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. I hope not, actually. I hope uh, I get to, sp to shoot the space Nazis. See, Asari could do something about the Reapers. My friend said there was some sort of diplomatic summit, but the Asari wouldn't attend. Did he say why? Apparently, they think there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. For once, I agree with them. Only a fool would trust the Krogan. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. Please note, due to recent incidents, Baron handlers must wear armor at all times. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. That sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. Wow. This is very interesting. <laughs> so, it's very common 
it's very common for people to not know what evolution is because there's a, there's a certain amount of political and religious, but political sort of weight to uh, evolution and to its teaching and to its understanding and stuff like that. So it's particularly in the United States, the rest of the world is, is a little bit, bit different depending on where you are. But this is an American game, although they, they are based in Canada, I think, Bioware. But uh, the, there's, there's, it's a very common misunderstanding of what evolution is. The way he's talking about evolution isn't wrong, however, uh, in the sense that he's, you know, looking into evolution and, and the uplifting here, we're, we get it defined. And basically the, ep, the uplifting being basically guiding the evolutionary process of a species towards whatever goal they want. Uh, and that's what they call uplifting. So th that works very well. However, the, the it, it it's still nuanced enough that I think the misunderstanding is there. And what is that misunderstanding? Evolution doesn't happen to an individual. So an individual can't evolve. For example, if you've played Fallout uh, and you know of the forced evolutionary virus, the forced evolutionary virus basically is something that transforms people into super mutants. They make... They, they, they turn, it, it turns them... Uh, it's not just that, but the, as a general, just a simple, straightforward explanation, it it basically changes people's appearance and uh, and DNA and all that sort of stuff, and the game calls it ev the you know it's the next evolutionary step of of uh, humanity, uh, but you know it, it's the individuals that are sub subjected to that virus that get transformed. And the same happens, for example, in... in uh, it's a very common trope. This happens, for example, in Resident Evil, where the villains are like, oh, this is the next stage in human evolution. And then they have this this thing that transforms people into big monsters, or even if it isn't big monsters, it could be, like, like not monsters in just different humans or whatever. There's, there's this very common misunderstanding that evolution is individuals changing, and it isn't that. Ev what evolution is is changes in the frequency of genetic information in a population. So when I say a population, I mean a group of people, a group of specimens, during successive generations. So a very simple thing is, for example, the, this animal over here is red, this animal over here is white, and, the, and they live in snow, the red animal is going to die more often to predators and the, uh, the white animal is going to not die as often. And so what happens is that more white animals of those animals, same, same species, more of those get to live and procreate and, le and fewer of the red ones get to live and procreate, which then means that a a across multiple generations, there's a change in, the, in this example of mine in the genes, or in the frequency of the genes that are, cause the animal to be white or to be red, which means that's what evolution is. Over the years, animals that live in the snow become more camouflaged to the snow and all that. I mean, if there is an evolutionary pressure, that's what the term is, uh, and I, I'll get to that in a little bit as well. If there is an evolutionary pressure for for uh, for that change in, in the genetic composition or the frequency of that genetic composition to actually take place. Because if there is no evolutionary pressure, like, for example, where the, whether the animal has blue eyes or whether the animal has red eyes, maybe that doesn't affect survivability as much, so it do, there's no evolutionary pressure. Uh, in, or at uh, first, uh, you'd think that there's no evolutionary pressure, and so it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, th th that doesn't happen. That said, the thing that makes me say that the game has the misunderstanding of what evolution is, is that he says that he doesn't understand the underlying... Causes of evolution, which is dumb. <laughs> it's really dumb. And my character says, oh, sounds like religious thing. And he says, oh, we, no, no, it's open-minded. Uh, so the causes of evolution are pretty straightforward. They're genetic mutations uh, that, you know, that, hap that happen to cause certain animals to be red, for example. That's one of the, the mechanisms. Uh, and the other mechanism is hereditary genes. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, what he's doing really isn't any different from what humans do with agriculture, 
for example. What he when I say he's doing what what the Krogans are or not Kro Krogans the whatever the the, the space Nazis are doing. Uh, it's not any different than uh, what we do with with uh, plants and agriculture. Uh, it's it's still using evolutionary methods in the sense that there's random mutations in corn, for example. Uh, and then we pick the corn that is best fitted for uh, whatever uh, whatever we want. Uh, usually it's just to, to give flour or to be eaten. And so we sow that corn that tends to be better for that. And over multiple generations of corn, we see a genetic drift or a, a, a change in uh, in the frequency of the genes and uh, in basically the mutations that we like the best, we get to keep. And that's why the corn that we have, and that applies to all agriculture, like all domestic plants, um, the, the, the corn that we have could not exist, uh, could not have existed without human agriculture. And, and what that's called is artificial selection as opposed to natural selection, which would, is what would have happened to the animals that are white or red in my example. So the mechanisms are pretty straightforward. Uh, what I'm thinking here is that the game uh, doesn't, or the writers don't understand what evolution is. I'm not saying they don't, don't believe in evolution, but well, I guess if you don't understand what it is, you can't really believe it. And it's just like, the belief is, 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 is there's a certain amount of belief um, that some people have, rather than scientists who just see evolution. Uh, if you know, if you've never done the experiments yourself, I suppose, yeah. Uh, but evolution is observable in in uh, in things like you know in in petri dishes and things like that. Besides also being observable in in uh, the fossil record, for example, or even not even in the fossil fossil record, just through DNA analysis of of uh, real life animals, we can see the evolution directly in the uh, in the DNA because we can build all the uh, the sort of uh, and genetic tree ancestors and stuff like that just based on DNA. So there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, experimentation that can be done to just prove evolution. I say prove, but really demonstrate the effects of evolution, which is another way of saying that. Um, but uh, but yeah, for for non scientists, which I am not. I'm I I have a degree in archaeology. Uh, so the, the the closest I've gotten to learning about um, evolution was uh, was about the, the, the human paleontology, uh, which I believe it's the only kind of paleontology. But yeah, I, l I had a couple of classes. I had uh, a couple of classes uh, off about paleontology. So I learned a little bit about uh, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, and all the other things that I forget now. Uh, and also, it's all outdated anyway, because there's, there's constant developments in that. But uh, yeah, goodbye, Spates Nasty. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. No, I'm not ready. Send confirmation to the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you on Tachanka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the Thresher Maws eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. I find that analyzing topographical data of a location isn't the same as seeing it in person. Experiencing the world puts a new perspective on things, doesn't it? But there's also regret, knowing that as we speak, Reapers are destroying other worlds just as beautiful. They're not. They're, um, they're just destroying the people in the world, I suppose, a little. I don't like what I'm hearing. What? There was some outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission fully encoded with no identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, someone's passing a message as opposed to the message that it would be if it weren't encrypted. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're going to cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. You're lucky you are you don't have to pay for all the, the crimes you've made. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. It is restricted. I can't move in there. I want top priority given to the Krogan transfer. But the Yog specimen is giving us trouble. The Yog. I regret ever bringing them here for study. They say they're close to achieving spaceflight. That's why they're under consideration for uplift. Clever species. Perhaps too clever. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Anyway. 
Let's take the elevator. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. I thought you said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. Oh. When I shut Malon's experiments down, I saved his research on the cure. Yes, I received an anonymous data packet some time ago. I believe it was Morden Solis's doing. Malin's data lacks crucial detail to reconstruct the cure, but it may help us in synthesizing one from living tissue. Unfortunately, the data couldn't help them. If I don't get the cure, I lose all hope of keeping this alliance together. Someone convinced Rex these females were still alive. Yes, it was me. I told Erdnot Rex they were here. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. I wish we could have done more. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Shepard's troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the pod through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. I... That's one way of looking at it. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. To the elevator, Commander! Threat condition 3 has been declared. Live fire is authorized. Alright. Live fire. Um. Yeah. Where are we supposed to go? Over there. Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. They're insecure. Watch us secure. The arm subjects. We have a problem. What sort of problem? Security overrides aren't responding. Fix it! Oh, them overrides. Wake's log 162.3. I spent my remaining political capital to safeguard the females. I'm virtually alone in this. Most of STG would rather eliminate them. 
short-sighted. Evolution has a grander plan than any one person can ever imagine. The Krogan must be protected. I'll find a way. You see what I mean? The grander plan of evolution? That's not how it works. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. It's all about the evolutionary pressure for the animals to be white or red. Or both or none. Wigs log 178.3. Malin's cure is causing a severe overreaction in the female's immune response. Using his recovered data, I've managed to reverse the cellular damage in one of the Krogan. I'm hopeful she'll make a full recovery, but for the others, I'm less optimistic. Hmm. I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't done done the thing. I suppose it would be the same thing, it was just slightly different. Anyway, let's go up the elevator, or down. Use it. That's what I mean. Bomb! Get back! Commander Shepard, are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. I can open it from here. Commander, it's Wix. Cerberus forces are tracking our progress. The quarantine checkpoint is under attack. Get there right away! Will do. Ooh. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. The Solarian. What? Taking enemy fire from position Caltech 4. Direct reinforcements to that location and confirm. How do they see me through the smoke? Clear. I'm sure there will be more. How do you know? More incoming! Dang it. She knew. All squads, be advised. Don't let them take cover in the lab! I'm just looking for pick up bubbles. That is the laziest side roll you'll ever see. Is that ours? Yes. Hi. The female Krogan will be vulnerable against this level of firepower. Commander, where are you? Cerberus is tracking our position. We're on our way. It's over through here. Oh crap. Organic life never ceases to surprise me. <clears throat> Something new to put in our memoirs. Works for me. We have memoirs? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that sounds bad. Commander Shepard, we have Cerberus troops that? at the checkpoint. They're targeting the Krogan. I see the checkpoint. They're taking fire. We need to get in there. Ooh. Thought I see. I saw somebody upstairs. Oh yeah, there. There's a lot of them. Can't see very well. All right. Hurry, Commander. The technician was killed. Clear us through the checkpoint. Are you okay? The containment shield is holding. I can attempt repairs if necessary, though that may be small comfort to our patient. I'm fine, Commander. It's likely Cerberus was tipped off. Maybe a mole in STG could be indoctrinated. It would derail your alliance with the Turians. That's not gonna happen. Meet us at the next checkpoint! I suspect Cerberus will try to hit us! Mm. <laughs> 
Quickly, to the next checkpoint! Copy all squads. Headshots do work. I didn't know that. Shepard, get cracking! I'm trying to draw some of their fire! Do I see them? I do. This is Wix. That last attack caused serious damage to our security systems. I'm trying to repair what I can. Hang on. We're trying to get to you. There's things over here. Swear to God. I think they can. Oh! Man, that is a lazy roll. Hmm. All hostiles are down. Okay. Uh, 